I've been having some rough days lately. Uh, not only that, it's been th three weeks since I'm staying inside uh, my home. It's a complete pain to record these videos while having a four-year-old daughter uh, inside uh, inside this home. Uh, my business is almost reduced to zero. Uh, YouTube decided that my 28,000 subscribers channel is worth only five to 800 views per video. So yeah, a lot of things piled up and I think that when that amount of problems start to uh, gather, the, the, the creative process hits a block. And um, I, I think that uh, because I went through this process, I just want to share with you this experience and what I did to pull myself out of all this uh, bad state of mind. Hello everyone, my name is Toma and I'm a full-time landscape photographer or I was a full-time landscape photographer. Only the future will tell if this uh, thing with the full-time will be <laughs> something that will continue to happen. Uh, for three weeks, I got out of the house only 30 minutes per day. 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the afternoon, I have to drive my wife to work and from work. Uh, she used to work together with me in this photography business, but since things um, developed and went into a wrong direction, we thought it's best for her to take a job and to, um, uh, and to help uh, take some stress of my of my uh, shoulders um the business right now it's it, it doesn't exist anymore i mean it's uh, it's a situation that it's really bad and uh, it's something that i have to deal with and dealt with so um it's it's very hard to think of the future when nobody can guarantee when this future will start when when we will be able to basically work again and live as normal people. Anyway, I realized that I had to deal with this. I had to accept the current situation. So uh, I, I just woke up this morning and said to myself, okay, this is, this is not the last day of me on planet Earth. I have a lot, a lot more things to do and a lot more things to say. Uh, and no matter what, I feel or no matter how bad I feel the sun will still shine so it's it's no point on feeling down it's it's just a, a bad moment in my life right now so I just have to find uh, my inner strength to get myself out of this because nobody else can get myself out of this situation nobody can help me everyone is in the same situation so I just have to find my own way out of it. So the first thing that I was thinking is how to get my brain not be in that state of mind because my body was feeling energetic. I mean, I'm staying inside my home. I don't do anything. I eat a lot. I have a lot of energy. I don't have ways to consume it. I can't hike anymore. So I need to fix this, the brain. So I did the only thing that I was capable of doing. Uh, I mean, whenever I hike, my stress goes away. When I'm exhausted, my stress goes away, my problems go away. So I did exactly that. I, now, I, uh, I don't like working out in the gym. I don't like push-ups. I don't like jumping. I don't like lifting weights. I like to do physical effort that is done by hiking or uh, walking very intensively. But I, I don't have that, that option. So, okay, I had to uh, resort to some home fitness or something like that. So I had to just do some jumping, some push-ups, um, jumping jacks, and whatever all those exercises are called. It was, it, it was strange, but I think it worked. I think it was almost like having a toxin inside my brain, and through those um, exercises, I, I managed to, to get it out. The, the, I, I had to work until I felt pain, literal pain in my in my uh, legs, my hands were shaking. I, I was feeling uh, a little dizzy and nausea. So uh, I was breathing uh, rapidly. So I, I had to reach that exhaustion 
point that a five hour hike with all my gear in my in my backpack gave me i had to reach that point so the brain kind of like shut it down i mean uh, okay you're you're wasted you're tired let's not think about other problems and now that i see that this kind of a uh, mental situation can be dealt with in a very uh, easy and measurable way i mean Anybody can do some physical exercises until it reaches a point when the mental stress goes away. Now I see that that is possible. Uh, I'm starting to build a plan and this is just a midterm uh, plan. I'm not planning for the future as I told you. I don't know when this future will happen, but I'm planning uh, simple steps, day-to-day -day tasks and also some, um, let's say, two or three weeks ahead. and. This planning is related to photography, is related, is related in some way to my business as a landscape photographer. So I'm thinking currently to create more and new uh, processing videos. I already have on my website my online mentoring uh, program for landscape photographers. It's, it's a one-on-one -on -one program that lasts 30 days. And for 30 days, one-on-one -on -one with me, uh, that also includes two Skypes, uh sessions of one hour each i think the price for that program is a very affordable one if you're interested just check the check my website in the description of this video now another thing uh, that i decided to do is to revisit old photos every day to try out new editing techniques um, uh, if i'm staying inside my home i might as well post on instagram a lot more photos and um, I also uh, want to try different projects inside my home maybe I will record a video on that in future weeks uh, or in future in future vlogs another thing uh, is that every day I will work out every day I will have 15 to 30 minutes workout and I think this this will be very beneficial for my state of mind um, what else? I will uh, wake up at 6 a.m. Uh, I, I don't think I need to wake up earlier than that. Uh, and in order to achieve that, I will go to sleep probably at 10 or 11. Before I start anything, I will just stay relaxed and with my eyes closed, I will try to visualize a mental map of what I have to do that day. It's not like I'm meditating or praying, it's just uh, a calm state in which I want to think about the things that I have to do that day. Now, I will not try to accomplish too much. As I told you, a four years uh, old daughter inside the house, it's not a friendly working environment. Now I have the plan for um, the, the near future. But I know from my own experience that planning is easy, having ideas, it's, it's easy. The difficult part is to execute, is to put those ideas um, on practice, to, to have things, to do stuff. That's the, that's, the, that's the most difficult thing, to actually do stuff. So I just need to make sure that I stick to the plan. Now, waking up at 6 a.m., it's not that difficult. First of all, I'm a landscape photographer. I'm used to get uh, up at really early hours of the morning. It's not fun but it's something that I'm used to do. So I'll just have to uh, go to bed at 10 or maximum 11 to be able to wake up at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. it's not uh, a very difficult hour to wake up. Now, uh, another thing is that because I'm waking up at 6 a.m., I know I'll have about an hour and a half or maximum two hours until my daughter and wife wake up. So I have to achieve as, ma as much as possible in those two hours. Now I can edit on noise, but I can't record processing videos on noise. So I will use those two hours in the morning to record processing videos. And by the way, you'll be able to buy those processing videos on my website, or you can go on Skillshare. And uh, whenever I, I will launch a new course, I will tell you and You'll also be able to um, uh, take this course on Skillshare. Maybe some of you have uh, a Skillshare subscription. After I'll work for two hours, 
I had to make a break and take my wife to work, come back, and probably at, at, until maximum 10 a.m. I'll be able to do some more slight or edits or something like that. Uh, I'll just have to to deal with the noise a four years old kid is doing in the house. But starting from 10 a.m. and until um, 4.30, I'll have to just stay with her, play with her. Another very important aspect, I think, is the temperature in the house. If you're staying too much in, in, inside your house, you have two things that you need to do. So you need to open the windows frequently and have fresh air inside uh, your home. And then uh, I'm having 22 degrees Celsius inside my home. I think above that it's too hot. So now I created a daily routine. I have a plan. I have uh, a system that will help me stick with it. I'm basically not letting over 10 years of being a full-time landscape photographer going down to uh, down to waste. I hope you are all okay, you are all healthy and if you have something to add just, just uh, use the comment section below and until next time keep on photographing is the only way to get better even though you can't photograph right now. Keep on photographing with your own mind and uh, thanks for your time and bye bye.